Hey guys, welcome to the Fightage channel. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. I really want to get 10,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. Thanks for supporting me, guys. Irishman Thomas Curti told why Britain and Anthony Joshua chose him as a sparring partner during the preparation for the upcoming rematch with Alexander Usyk. I call myself the Pondland version of Usyk. I learned how to strike correctly. I always had goal fundamentals. I am mobile for a big guy. And on top of that, when I started growing up, I became much stronger. I think I've developed a kind of deft, powerful style of hitting, which is quite interesting to watch. Besides, I'm left-handed. What makes Usyk such an effective and a good fighter is that he is very mobile. His legs are really very good. Its foundations are on top. I would say he is one of the best boxers with basic boxing skills. Besides, when you fight with a lefty, everything doesn't happen as usual. There may be hundreds of guys in your gym. But less than 5% will be left-handed. I used to choose guys from when I could steal something. Uzik was one of them. We have the same weight category. He is left-handed and mobile on his feet. He has good shots. So I tried to copy this guy because he has everything at a high level. When I watched him, I didn't even know what heights he would reach, become an Olympic champion or a world champion. What he has done and achieved is insane. That's why I try to imitate this guy. During sparring session with Joshua, I was asked to do what I know. How to do and be myself. They were happy and no one asked me to make this or that move. They just wanted me to be myself, to feel comfortable. It was a really enjoyable experience. I worked with a two-time world champion. This is a guy I watch on TV every time he fights. And then all of a sudden he asks me to help him prepare for a fight. Curtis said. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. If you really enjoy the content, then please subscribe to my channel and keep watching the videos. If you are subscribed, then receive notifications about the release of new videos. You do not even have to look for anything personally. I really want to get 10,000 subscribers to my channel. I'm trying very hard absolutely every day and I need your support. Your likes, comments, reposts to social networks. Thanks for supporting me, guys. The head of the match boxing promotion company Eddie Hearn assured that he and the star heavyweight Anthony Joshua are bound by friendship, not just business relations. We are friends. It seems to me that if you go through so much with someone, you become friends. We don't talk all the time. In this camp, we probably talk several times a week. I visited him several times, but we respect each other. This is the case where you have a good friend and you don't have to see each other all the time. I meet my best friends once every two months. We've known each other since high school and they've always been the best for me. I can't rely on them more than anyone else. Anthony is in a similar position. His company and match from boxing hold regular business meetings and daily meetings at Zoom. He knows I'm in a whirlwind in everything. That's how we live. Signing a lifetime contract was a good decision. I always knew this business would connect us forever, as you hear and say it. Former world champion Carol Frampton believes that the WBA, WBO, IBF heavyweight title holder Alexander Usyk will again defeat Anthony Joshua in a rematch, perhaps even ahead of shuttle this time. Of course, Usyk is a very smart fighter. This time he will expect a different approach on Joshua, because Anthony needs to apply it. If you put a gun to my head, I will say that Usyk will win this fight. But I don't think it will be as easy as many people think. Joshua was tired and shaken at the end of the first fight. As for me, based on what he should do in the rematch, if Anthony does not stop Usyk, then he will probably lose ahead of Shadow later. I hope I'm wrong, Carl Frampton said. WBC heavyweight world champion Tyson Fury continues to flirt with fans, speculating on the topic of his return to the brink. The Gypsy King announced his retirement back in April after defeating Dylan White, but few people believed him. And now Fury once again, albeit in his trademark outrageous style, but still hinted that he had not settled everything with his Division rivals. Fury sang a song, making it clear that he was going to fight on. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.